I am vengeance. And I am Goku. Batman and Goku would be awesome. No time for that, Goku. It's news time. The Winter Guard traveled to the WGI for the first time, placing 20th nationally and winning state. This is a huge achievement. Fantastic job, Winter Guard. Any students interested in reading the final book in the Miller Reed Club, come on down to the library to pick up the new book by Elizabeth Ace Vito titled With the Fire on High. If you pick up a book, you are expected to attend the MRC meetings. The Black Student Union is hosting a Pajama Jammy Jam night this Saturday at NHS. Be sure to come out and support the BSU. Our new episode of Around the County is out now on the NHS News Channel on YouTube. Come and learn about a sports team you may have never heard of and a bill that can change our school system in many major ways. If you're interested in government or want the opportunity to represent the youth of Noblesville, then you should apply for the Mayors of Youth Council. For information, you can check out their website, www.cityofnoblesville.org, or their Instagram, Noblesville Youth Council. Deadlines for applications are April 29th. NHS will be hosting a Hire a Miller job fair on Thursday the 28th. To prepare, they will be offering a resume building workshop on Tuesday the 12th during AL. Sign up, during, sign up through the announcement sent out on the Counseling Canvas page. Welcome back from break, Millers. Let's hop into our Trending Today news. Will Smith casually smacked Chris Rock at the Grammys last week, and I think everyone is confused as to why that happened. But Will Smith is banned from the ceremony for 10 years. That's all for Trending Today. Let's toss it to meetings. The Dungeons and Dragons Club is having their next meeting on Thursday in the LGI room during AL. Come get a pass from room 1061 anytime before 6 block on Thursday. The Students for Life Club is holding a meeting on Thursday, April 14th during AL. The meeting will be held in the LGI. If you are interested in going, be sure to pick up a pass from Miss Ellis's room at 1244 prior to the meeting. Well, this is the end of our segment, Mason. I mean, Batman. Okay, Goku, let's go to sports. After this show, I'm going to do some sick drifts in the parking lot. At NHS News, we don't condone tomfoolery such as this. Don't do this. I will drift today. Okay, let's get to some sports. The Miller baseball team fell to Avon Friday with a score of 7-2. Noblesville is 1-1 in the conference and 3-3 overall. You can catch the baseball boys next on Thursday as they take on Fishers at home. Best of luck to the Miller boys. MLB is back. The league had its opening day this past Thursday and teams are 3-4 games into their 162 game schedule. Chicago Cubs are off to a good start, sitting at a 2-1 record, and the Cincinnati Reds aren't far behind with a 2-2 two two record. In other sports news, USF1 football starts next week. Be on the lookout for former Michigan Wolverine star quarterback Shea Patterson to be a standout in the spring league. That's all for pro sports, and now back over to meetings. Boys soccer will have an information call meeting during AL on Wednesday, April 20th in room 2243. Any boy interested in trying out for the program next year, get a pass from Coach Delasky in room 2243 before the meeting. We got a lot of sports for these next two days. Today, April 12th, your girls tennis team will take on Fishers at 5 p.m. at East Middle School. The JV and varsity softball teams are taking on Fishers at Fishers at 6 p.m. And to wrap up the night, the girls JV and varsity lacrosse teams take on Cathedral at Beaver Material Fields at 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. The girls varsity tennis team takes on Lawrence North at Lawrence North at 5.15 p.m. JV and varsity softball takes on Carmel at home at 5.30. The black and gold JV baseball teams take on Fishers at 6 p.m. at Hazel Dell. The boys JV lacrosse team takes on Southeastern at Southeastern at 6 p.m. And to wrap up this day of sports, the boys and girls lacrosse teams both play at 7.30. The boys play at Southeastern and the girls play against Cathedral at Cathedral. Good luck to all these teams. That's it for news today, Millers. Time to drift, bros. See you, Millers. Okay, Jack. See you later, Millers. <laughs>